Hi, I'm Dylan Smart. In today's segment, we will teach you how to build a 10 by 8 mitered corner deck. As in all construction projects, remember to use the correct personal protective equipment. Protect your hands using all-purpose utility gloves. Always wear safety glasses. This will drastically reduce the risk of hand and eye injury. To prepare the ground, first measure the layout and shape of the deck by using a hose or string. Then add or remove ground material until you have a flat surface. The multi-deck can be assembled on virtually any type of surface. This includes sand, dirt, pea gravel, crushed rock, or even concrete. We always suggest that you lay down a landscaping fabric to prevent vegetation growth. It all starts with our patented Recycle Rubber Multi-Deck Base. There are three channels molded into the base, designed to cradle six-inch wooden or composite deck boards. To get the width of the mitered corner deck, what you're going to want to do is set up your pads and use spacer boards. Place the spacer boards on the side supports and make sure everything is nice and tight. Next, take your measuring tape and measure from the inside of that last divider to the inside of this divider. That will give you the measurement for your first mitered corner cut. That's long point to long point, cutting back at a 45 degree angle. Continue the process on the next two dividers, getting your measurements for your outside pads. This will ensure that you get the perfect mitered corner cut. So now that you have all your mitered corners cut, it's time to assemble the frame. This is easily done by using a three inch deck screw and screwing together the corners like so. Screw into the wood, going each direction to ensure that that miter corner stays nice and tight. You continue the process on all four corners and then continue the process in ascending order until all three frames are fastened together. So now that you have all your miter corners secured with a screw going each way, it's time to cut the corner base. This is done by measuring an inch and a half in, taking a straight edge, and cutting on that 45 degree angle. Now that you have eight separate triangles cut, it's time to apply the corner bases. This is easily done by sliding them in the grooves, pushing them to the corner. Once you have done this, you secure down by screwing through the rubber into the back of the lumber. Make sure to only dimple the rubber. Don't go through. Once you've applied your corner bases and they are securely fastened to the lumber, you now can lay out the rest of your bases. Remember that we always recommend spacing a base no more than 18 inches. Once they are all laid out, apply the same process, screwing through the rubber and into the back of the lumber. So once you've applied all your rubber bases and securely fastened them to the lumber, it's time to flip your frame. Doing this will require a second pair of hands. So the next step is actually to infill the middle with your pre-built panels. But before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to slice off the divider and the self-support of the two short side rubber bases. This is easily done by taking a utility knife and cutting the inside 
of this divider until it comes off. Now it's time to infill the middle of your deck. This is done by prefabricating your panels. As you can see, we're under eight feet and the spacing is at 18 inches. Drop in your panels and space them out five and a half inches from each side of the frame. This will allow for your joiner boards to slide in like so. Once you're done, simply screw down your joiner boards going through from the top into the rubber side supports and it's time to enjoy your deck.